Taking a quick look at Ethereum on the daily chart, I like to evaluate this pullback by measuring other pullbacks in the history of this chart. For example, this one, this one, and this one, because I think these three are very similar compared to this one over here. I'm gonna use my trend-based pivot extension, clicking from that pivot high, pivot low, projecting, doing it again, pivot high, pivot low, projecting. One last time, pivot high, pivot low, projecting. So as we can see, these three pullbacks are very similar to one another. Just wanna take a measurement real quick. So from here to here is roughly $569. Next, I can use my Fibonacci retracement, pulling from that pivot low to pivot high. I like to see if areas that can match up with the symmetry support work that existed. We do have a 382 retracement. So that gives me a four price relationship against that zone and see if this potential support will hold. Now we're looking at an hourly chart. We also got to build a case against this chart. For example, over here, we do have a lower low than this one over here. Price is trading below that 200 moving average on the hourly chart. So that's not something I want to participate in. But for those of you that are more adventurous, you may want to see some strength coming back into this chart. Establish a series of higher highs and higher lows. Position sizing correctly, but you gotta set your stop below this pivot low. As you can see here, we do have some selling off taking place in the high market cap tokens. The reason why I chose Ethereum was that price is still trading above that 200 on the daily chart. If you flip over to Bitcoin, you can see price is still struggling against that 200 on the daily. If you wanna go long with something, you always wanna find strength. If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Hit that notification button trying to get to a thousand subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area and I'll talk to you soon.